signed recently. I don't know. Pretty I'm sure Doorstop sure. got signed recently. Jin J Birdie, J Birdie won? Are you kidding me? Losers quarters. Shout outs to J Birdie. The best rep for out of Wright State University right now. He's just making his way in and we're gonna have to be seeing. Jin's been playing all day. Jin has been playing in squad strike all day. He's been playing singles all day. My man's is tired. J Birdie does not get tired the way that normal human beings do. So <laughs> no, he, if you play a character like Pack, uh, you you are willing to, to stretch it out. It, yeah, it no, you're matter. in for the long game. You're used to playing long ass sets. However, now this Pyre gonna come out. Pyre probably really good against Pac Man. Pac Man doesn't get he the space the, that he wants. Holy, yep, got the trick. Oh, okay, that was interesting. I, I swear, I, I would have thought there was an Uppy coming out there. But, I think uh, there was. Might have just been a. For the, either substitutes for the Blazing End or trying to mix it up. I think Most it was likely a, a misinput. Mis yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Bruh. no, you cannot jump over Pyro like that. Jin so, swatting the fly out from his face. J Birdie's biggest habit, not really habit, it seems to work against a lot of players incredibly well. He loves to fair on your shield because that shit is safe, and then like do another aerial right afterwards. Yeah, Pyra I mean, apparently has the speed to be able to uh, throw out that up smash instead of uh, J Birdie throwing out his second move. That's, that's going to be, gonna be camp. Um, Pyra also has a, a so little bit of box tools. shifting on her up smash. She like crouches down and goes yeah, up. Yeah. So like that second aerial is probably not even gonna come close to hitting Pyra. I get so scared whenever Jay Birdie throws down his Hydra and it doesn't knock his opponent away. Because at that point, he's just stuck in the air with no good way of getting down. Yep, now that blazing end, doing a good job of keeping Jay Birdie in the corner, applying some type of shield pressure. You're gonna be seeing a lot of this from Jen, where he just baits out the Hydra and then keeps Jay Birdie in the air. Pyro and Mithra are so good at juggling characters that are above them. As you can see, all he did, he got rid of the Hydra. That is like he baited the Hydra out from Jay Birdie, avoided it, and then Jay Birdie just didn't have that tool and he got bopped. I mean, that is some character uh, knowledge right there. Jin clearly knows that you know you hit a Pac-Man off stage or really any zoner, they're Anywhere. gonna throw a projectile back. <laughs> so you just duck down below the projectile and then hit them. It's literally one of the freest edge guards. It happens to me all the time when I play Mega Man. Uh, it's just something that good characters do. Ooh, he di'd in while he, while uh, Jin went it out. That, that was just a guess. <laughs> There's not really much you can do about it. All, did you know that Pac-Man's fruits are also transcendent? Why? Because <laughs> why? Because uh, Sakurai said, you know what? Let's make the zoner a top tier. They gave him boxing tools. They gave him uh, transcendent projectiles. Yeah, Jay Birdie trying to stay patient. However, Jin knowing how to smother Pac Man. He's just boxing, brother. You can't really stay uh, patient against Pyre and Mithra because. Oh, they caught him! He's dead. No. Oh, oh, dude. Oh. Who thinks of that? The Pac-Man is off in the corner of the stage, falling down, what charging do you mean? It is and no. you throw a side me at him? Who does that? Anybody with a brain. No, it's a lasting Birdie, hitbox that's strong. Jay Birdie has He knows they're going to charge fruit. He's never been hit by that before. Jin's just smart. Guaranteed. Jin's a genius. Guaranteed. He's a genius. Never happened. Don't be sticking with uh, starting off with Mithra. Oh, Jay Birdie just getting a little bit of, a little bit of a stretch. Crack his neck a little bit. I think we're on Smashville from what I saw. Ah, uh, yes. KK is about to make an appearance as we get started on Smashville. I Jay think Birdie it's, uh, is it Brain setup that's always on stream? Because Brain always, on the on the day of tournament, sets it to the day where KK comes out. Yep. Uh, shout out to the Brain. <laughs> this is Brain setup. So Pac-Man loves Smashville. Mithra, Parvis Par Par more of a fan of it. But Jay Birdie really likes it because when he throws Hydra down, He's basically able to create a wall where he can go underneath the platform and have a defensive position. Or if you're already underneath the platform, then he just goes to the other side and starts charging for it. Yeah, the, I guess the one bad thing in a, in a matchup like this is that, you know, Pyra and Mithra love every stage, to be honest. Uh, and it, it, it really is sometimes matchup dependent, but Pyra and Mithra are so good that they don't care. Nah. They get things off of everything. Gonna get a gimp. That was an excellent tech sheet. He's got no invincibility. The, 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 the trampoline. Oh, but Jin still finds the kill. Yeah, up smash is really oh. gonna scoop from there. Pyro up smash is way bigger than Mithra up smash. That'll scoop for days. Oh, something big could happen here. Uh, Jin staying alive. Uh, one of those types of players where you know he just knows how to live with this character. Uh, uh, there's not much you can do when there's someone hydrant. has that type of knowledge. Every single time Jay Birdie has thrown down a Hydra, Jin is punishing it. God, okay. Am I the only person <laughs> whose heart just stopped for a second? No, I physically recoiled. That was horrifying. 
but you just get, we got to pay attention to that hydrant because every single time Jay Birdie does it, Jin, it's when Jin wants him to do it. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, good recognition from Jay Birdie to, to keep Pyra out of his face. However, like Jin is a very Tomahawk heavy Aegis. He loves the Tomahawk. As we, <laughs> as we can see, uh, that time Jay Birdie did not do a, a, that good of a job at keeping him off. Oh no, his pellet. What is happening? I don't even know. Uh, okay. Jin was trying to, to, to steal, yeah, the steal the trampoline, and then for some reason neither of them died. Oh, that is uh, definitely a dead pack, man. That having that active of a hitbox and that strong of a hitbox as an edge guard, he kind of busted. Yeah, he keeps throwing it out. Uh, it only worked that one time, but that one time's all you need. Yeah, obviously. You, you, now you have a stock lead again. Dash attack is unpunishable. Combos into two fairs. Pac-Man going to be making it back just fine, though. Yep, and so is Pyra. Clanking with the Hydrant to be able to get herself back down. Hydrant going to be sent it away. Orange. That Blazing End is just so good in this matchup. I mean, Pac-Man really gets no time to sit there in that space. Good. However, Bell connecting, and now Jay Birdie has tied this up. I think 33%, this is the first time yes, not a stop. lot. This is, the, this is the best opportunity he's had. He, he needs to get down. Jin avoiding the Hydra and just punishing Jay Birdie for not having that option. It's fascinating so, the way he does it, and he's not dead yet. So, Barely not. It's way too stale, that oh, up smash. No, no. He air dodged. No, he's fine. Jay Birdie can make it back from anywhere. Hydra going to be messing him up just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I guess the weak hit just sent it away. Yeah, I mean, sometimes at these high percents, you can just, like, DI up and out, and that weak hit will hit. Oh, and and no, it just stops the killing. Bell. Are we going to see another one? We are. Yeah, but it's not going to hit. Jay Birdie's yeah. going to air dodge out of it. Footstool. Oh, the hot trampoline saved her. Bruh. <laughs> I hate this video game. I hate <laughs> Brother. I quit. I quit. I quit everything. All right, nope. These are the people that place above me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's Scoop from down there. <laughs> he was still in the platform. Good Lord. He was still in the platform. <laughs> Jin takes game two. G Birdie, yeah, he's definitely not going to be changing. Smashville is easily his most favorite stage. He's not going to be going anywhere with it. And not going anywhere with Pac-Man either. My man's a solo main. He ain't changing nothing. But the yeah. whole thing that needs to change is not his game plan. His game plan is fine. He just needs to know what Jin wants, which is baiting out those hydrants and then punishing Jay Birdie for it, and try to punish that. As hard as it is, like I, I know it's easy to say, but when your whole game plan revolves around having that hydrant as a wall so that you can have a defensive place to be, the fact that it keeps getting beaten out is something that Jay Birdie cannot overlook. Yeah, I mean, Jay Birdie's got to do his best to also just, like, stay away from Mithra because Mithra will smother Pac-Man. I don't think there's any immediate options that he can really do to get out of Mithra's face, especially when parries are coming out. I mean, uh, parry Mithra is scary. She can do whatever punish she wants. Pyra's Everything scarier. is fast. Full hop neutral me. It's safe. Can't punish it. That is a, a lot of Pac-Man. Not yet. Not yet. No Pac-Man living. Nice air dodge. That was perfectly timed. No spike either. Yeah, I mean these uh, these these overextensions that Jin's been going for. He's been doing like the same types of edge guards. Uh, Jay Birdie is starting to get really you know used to it. He's catching on to a couple of things. Uh, one of them is that he's no longer recovering into the stage with his side B. Okay, that hit. Good he's DI on the first hit of up B from Jay Birdie. Because, now counter oh, edge guarding that's that. Huge, yeah. That reverse edge guard is massive. Holy cow! Jay Birdie burning his jump to be able to get that back air, but <laughs> that's going to be enough. I mean, Jay Birdie is. Bruh, bruh! You take that every day of the week. You he's take that like, every he's, single day. That's the. What type of recognition was that? It, he, he seemed like he knew where he was going to be off that's the stage. That's Jay Birdie's thing. He lo his he doesn't play a super campy Pac-Man. He can, but he doesn't like to. J Birdie's thing is he will come at you with his zoner and box. He loves killing people at zero with fair, fair, fair down air off stage. He knows what characters want to do off stage and where they will be. It's especially oh, and now super Galaga. J Birdie just going to be taking full advantage of that stock. Yeah, you see, he's a whole stock up, and he didn't even sit back and start like hydrating or anything. That's the type of super armor that you want to happen. Uh, the last time, you know, J Birdie got caught by it. He just However, the Super Armor going to power through uh, that neutral beat. Key to victory, not going to be enough to save him. He's trying not to recover. That's That was a rare adjustment that he didn't make there that time. 
me. <laughs> because when he hits the stage like that, he often bounces up, and then uh, Pyra, or mostly Pyra, can smack him with something hard. Yeah, I, and now Jin, you know, uh, he's he's kind of fed up with getting hit by this Pac-Man a whole bunch. He has uh -huh. tied up the stocks all of a sudden. Oh, that the Galaga was just a little too high. Uh-oh. No spike. Yeah. Something tells me Pac-Man's about to explode. Yeah, he yes! Dude, he called out that air dodge and you just died. Dude, that was gross. That was nasty. Because I mean, shout out to the Jaybirdy for holding the lead that whole entire game, but Jin being the absolute beast that he is in this tri-state area, he's able to bring that back. He realized that Jaybirdy